Shout out to the EA Sports Game Changer program for allowing me to capture some early Madden 22 gameplay for you guys. We are at Lumen Field today as one of the best rivalries in the NFL in the NFC West Division will be renewed as Trey Lance, the rookie, leading the San Francisco 49ers on the road against the established veteran squad led by Russell Wilson and Pete Carroll. Of course, that being the Seattle Seahawks. As you see, my opponent, who happens to be TD Barrett, scrambling with Russell Wilson. Of course, all of his links will be in the description, but I'm assuming you guys probably know who TD Barrett is, and you guys don't need me to link TD Barrett's channel, but I mean, for those of you who need the link, I'll hook it up for you guys. As he's hooking up here with DK Metcalf on third down and three. I don't know who 29 in his long hair don't care, but uh, probably not one of my better ideas to leave him iso against DK Metcalf, who is now rightfully so a superstar on the Seattle Seahawks. Hawks. And of course, Russell Wilson, he's still an X Factor. He's still got a skate artist. And right now, TD's kind of killing us right now with that Russell Wilson scramble. So we're going to have to start putting quarterback contains on the field because he's making it look pretty easy. This opening drive is going very fluid as he's able to now run the ball out of shotgun with Rashad Penny. He's primarily staying in this spread formation, trying to run that circle play that a lot of people run. Circling around Fred Warner, making him look silly. Look at the movements put on there by TD Barrett. But he's going to have to work for these final couple of yards. And we're making it as tough as possible. Fred Warner, one of the best middle linebackers, plugging up the gap. Third down, Russell Wilson in for six. The formula for success, not running the ball with Penny, but running the QB rap with Russell Wilson. And it seemed like our defense got completely psyched out. But you guys saw TD Barrow was making some of those crazy moves in the open field. I think part of that is simply the fact that the... Madden 22 on the next gen, it feels a lot more polished than the Madden 21 next gen version that was released in, I believe, like December 4th or 5th of 2020, right? Like, I don't think EA had enough time to, like, fully polish a next gen version of Madden to kind of put out the best product they possibly could, where it was like, yeah, it was good, but you could definitely see it has potential to be better, and I, got, um, I think the main word here is polished. It didn't feel like a completely polished game, as opposed to Madden 22, where this game just moves more fluidly. Like, when you play it and when you watch it it just looks more normal right because sometimes when you watch man 21 it just didn't look normal <laughs> it's just as the players little run weird in the open field and stuff like that obviously you guys can make your own judgments whenever you get the game and you can even get the game on ea play early access i believe as soon as august 12th which is like very soon so you know you can check it out for yourself for a little bit but for now, we'll continue dissecting this game here. You see, we have to punt the ball there. Not our best opening drives as we contain Russell Wilson. Now, you see, I'm trying to focus on putting contains just about as much as we possibly can. Force Russell Wilson to throw from the pocket, but here on third down, we make him leave the pocket, which actually worked out for us because Nick Bosa gets the swat. Fourth down and 10 from his own 33. Russell Wilson going for it. Metcalf not going to get it. And that's a big turnover on downs forced by our San Francisco 49ers. We dial up the blitz and uh, really just try to confuse TD and knock him off of his first read and I think we're doing a decent job of that right like the opening drive was okay but that was a lot better the second time around and now we're already in the red zone you see TD's only rushing two out here like come on bro you ain't gotta do all this to me man you ain't gotta do this rushing one and rushing two people but um he's trying to bring all the smoke right now as he tries to smoke that run up there but uh Jamal Adams Jamal Adams still has an enforcer as well as Bobby Wagner so you definitely don't want to mess with those two guys but you can throw it over their heads and find George Kittle That'll work. That'll work for sure, especially when that man happens to be George Kittle. Third down, 85 gets open. We get ourselves six points on the board. And with the PAT, the game is tied. You guys see some of the momentum shifts that are on the top of the screen. So we're definitely going to keep an eye on that. And the fact that Seattle in general on third downs as the away team when the momentum is against you i believe your hot routes get messed up and stuff like that or your play arc gets messed up so we'll have to keep an eye on that if we happen to really fall behind in this game second down and four rashad penny getting the carry here as we go to the two minute warning he's not going to get much and once again you see we're really starting to make some a lot of adjustments with this 49ers defense we're doing a lot of crazy stuff i'm really going through all my tricks in my bag right now trying to figure out how to contain russell wilson fourth down and five needing another stop here wilson and it looks covered until he goes across the field and finds Tyler Lockett who toe taps in for the big first down and 
That was only Russell Wilson's second completion, so we've at least got him confused a little bit. But just like that, with one big play, he is in scoring range, and he's taking some time with them right now as he's running the ball pretty successfully with Rashad Penny. As I say that, he gets stuffed, but still 10 rushes, 65 yards. That's not a bad day in the office as Wilson containing him as well as we can, but not well enough because Russell Wilson actually outruns Nick Bosa and gets the first down, gets out of bounds. I had Bosa in a contain, but... He just wasn't fast enough. So that's something to keep in mind, I suppose, if you're trying to contain a quarterback. You're probably going to want someone faster than, I guess, Nick Bosa to contain a Russell Wilson with a skate artist. But once again, our goal line defense is getting pretty stingy here. We're forced a third down and goal once again. Hopefully this time we can get the stop as we send the blitz. Warner knocks the ball out of Wilson. It's loose. It's picked up by Nick Bosa. How fast is Bosa? Because he's all by himself. Not fast enough. Oh, come on, Bosa! He ran out of stamina. He was on E as we go in the middle of the field and connect with George Kittle. That's going to put us in field goal range. That was a big completion there. We're going to hold on to our final timeout until about three seconds left. At the 19-yard line, there's really not much we could do if we called a timeout earlier. So I'm just going to take our guaranteed three points, try not to mess that up because we were kind of gifted those three points based on his turnover and the Bosa return. But, I mean, damn, man, Nick Bosa didn't run out of stamina so quickly. We could have easily had six, but um, I guess those defensive line and they can't really crib those or at least a Bosa who had to play a long drive until we force that turnover so as we go into halftime you guys can see the uh, halftime adjustments you can make on offense and defensive focus so um, I wasn't really too sure what to pick on these to be honest I was just thinking like I should probably pick contain I probably should have picked contain quarterback scramble now I'm looking back at this knowing like what he was doing and knowing what I was trying to do to stop him just keep Russell Wilson in the pocket but I honestly don't even know like if I pick quarterback contain or whatever the option was how much it would actually help us But I mean it, it's there so you can try it out on your own time I suppose but right now second on 11 We do get the ball to start the second half and Trey Lance on the run connecting with Muhammad Sanu senior I believe that is gonna bring up a third down and five in the gun doubles and TD's going with some coverage defense But no one's covering George Kittle and that's our main guy on the San Francisco 49ers squad man Wherever Kittle goes we go and with the blitz sent Kittle gets open on the post and yeah we're just continuing to connect with George Kittle I'm assuming at some point he'll try to cover Kittle but not in this play because Kittle's actually wide open on the left side uh, out of my field of vision so we're able to scramble with Trey Lance to get a gain of nine as look at Raheem Moster on the run Raheem Moster one of the fastest running backs in regs he'll bounce that one outside with ease as we fake it to Moster looking to roll to the right side with Trey Lance using Lance's mobility uh, maybe using that playmaker a little bit too much. I think we had Debo without doing that. Second down looking for Kittle here. He's covered this time. But who is covering Trey Lance as he is going to get flipped by Jamal Adams and get the first down. And you see now we're starting to get TD Barrett with a taste of his own medicine leaving that pocket. Trying to connect there on the screen pass of Debo. But that definitely did not work. Second down. Lance looking for Kittle. Swatted away. Oh my. The Seer gets the swat. The former Indianapolis Cole. Third down. We'll go play action with Lance. We'll roll the pocket quickly to the right side. Looking, looking across the line of scrimmage. And we just got to run out of bounds at the 6. Third down and goal at the 12. There's not really plays, many plays in the playbook for that one. So I was just going to try to create something with Lance's mobility. Uh, didn't quite work out for us. We ended up taking the field goal there. We left the door wide open for TD Barrett to put together a drive here in the fourth quarter. Let's see how clutch he can be as D.D. Westbrook returns the kickoff to the 28-yard line. He's still staying in that spread, you know, um, or in this try-hard scheme out here. Uh, trying to make moves with D.K. Metcalf. I was like, nah, -uh, man, you're not doing this to me. I don't care. I'm a quick off. You have fun with the CPU, bro, doing all those little dance moves, not getting any yards. But uh, he's getting plenty of yards running the ball here with Rashad Penny. Now that's 13 rushes for 76 yards. But, you know, I kind of have to give that up at some point to make sure that he doesn't get us in the air. But he's going to get us in the air nonetheless. Wide open. Oh, man, that was Didi, and that should have been six. But Wilson on the move misses the mark. Second down and 10. Oh, that's way too far behind the line of scrimmage there. Way too far out that pocket, and he has to throw it ball away third down and 10 we're sending the blitz Wilson is able to diagnose the pressure finding the quick read there that's Rashad Penny that's the first down and you see TD Barrett's finally making that adjustment to all the pressure we've been sending especially on third down and he's gonna get a touchdown on the very next play this game was quite the chess match man it was it was a very fun game and it's going to come down to the wire and more than likely it's gonna be up to us to come up clutch on this drive this could be the last drive of the game if we play our cards right because all we need is a field goal and we're not in a rush we got three minutes left to just get in field goal range granted we don't fumble the ball 
But check this out, man. He's got all the momentum in the game, and now my screen is shaking. I'm only down by one. How, how do we find ourselves in this position, man? I don't know. But, like, I've got the screen shaking. It's making it harder to focus, but we're still able to connect with Muhammad Sanu with the slowest spin move you will ever see as Trey Lance dialed into this game pretty well. That'll continue as we hit Yushik. I don't know why Yushik's on the field in the slot, but... <laughs> I don't know why I had my depth chart here, but Yushek's in the slot on the left side. Are we taking some two-minute warning? No, we'll run one more play with Mostert who breaks the tackle off balance and rock. But we'll get to the 41-yard line, and we put ourselves in a pretty good position here as we run the ball again with Mostert looking to bounce it outside with that speed. Raheem Mostert all the way to the 42-yard line. I would say about 10 more yards is very comfortable field goal range. Five yards should still be field goal range as the blitz is in. And Lance taking too long there. Jamal Adams, blitz boy getting in. In there. That'll be an incompletion, thankfully for us, as we run the ball with Moster. Oh, Moster just tripped up. That could have been a critical first down. Instead, it's third and two, under a minute to go. And TD gonna drop back with some coverage. But who's covering? Trey Lance. He'll take off, and the rookie will get the first down. Trey Lance coming up clutch here in Seattle. And now we pretty much got this game one right even though i just screwed up that run there with most for no reason because he doesn't have the timeouts to stop us but given that this isn't really a serious game i'm not just gonna sit on it and kneel we'll try to you know run a couple of plays here but it's not really working for us because now all of a sudden we're kind of getting bounced a little bit out of field goal range comfortable field goal range so we have to be a little bit careful here on third down as we get the snap off earlier than we needed to getting away from the pressure is lance he'll roll but he's boxed up and i'm not sure that was a run or just out of bounds but nonetheless with nine seconds left we need to hit a 53 yard field goal to win this game here we go up and not even close with five seconds left we've absolutely missed the mark and just like that a surefire win goes out the window unless we can make a miracle happen oh that's not going to be a miracle at all instead that's dk metcalf up the seams getting the reception and it is officially a seattle seahawks win I don't know if I mess up the aim or I just mess up the kicking, like, timing on the ice. But, I mean, man, those ice kicks sometimes, that's just what happens, unfortunately. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I've ever missed an ice kick in my life, man. But, <laughs> um... At least this game had, like, you know, it was just a fun game against myself and TD Bear. Shout out to TD, though, man. Um... I don't know, TD's gotten a lot better at this game when I first played him. He used to be terrible at this game. But now, we, now we're able to have a, like fun games like this where it was truly a chess match out there. And it, it, felt, it felt fun playing that game, man. It just felt fun having to make adjustments on the fly to each other. And, and that's what Madden should be all about, right? So, um, yeah. Uh, good stuff all around. GG's to TD. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed this one. Subscribe for more Madden 22 gameplays. Hopefully, uh, my ice kicks don't mess, up, uh, mess us up down the road. And <laughs> I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you, as always, for watching.